Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I've got my good friend with me today, Link. Say hi, buddy. No, too early in the morning, and he hasn't had a coffee either, neither have I. But what we do have is some really fantastic news coming out of Digibyte. Now, a few of you have noticed clearly in the comment section that I've been a little bit more absent lately. Now, there's a really good reason for that. I've been helping out with a local political party here in New Zealand, and the elections are now over, and guess who's got a little bit more time on their hands now? This guy. So anyway, we'll dive straight into it because there's one thing in particular that I really want to talk about today. Now, I haven't been completely absent during the last few weeks. Uh, there's still been a lot going on behind the scenes, and in particular, I want to talk with you about Random X for Digibyte. Now, Random X is a CPU-focused mining algorithm. The idea being that you would mine just on your CPU with it. You can mine on your GPU, but traditionally there is not going to be quite as much of a hash rate per watt. So this is specifically CPU focused. Now, uh, a lot of people are going to ask, but what about Prog Power? What's happening with that? Very good question. Uh, that is still underway. Unfortunately, Christy Lee has uh, had numerous health complications throughout the year, and long story short, in order to pay for those health complications, she's had to take up other full-time work. Uh, she has been working on it still, as I've last spoken with her, um, and it is specifically so if you were to compare RandomX and ProgPal, one is going to be GPU focused, which is ProgPal, specifically for the graphics card in your computer, the other is CPU focused RandomX. Now, that CPU in addition might also be the CPU that's in your cell phone, so we're still looking into that. It's still a little bit up in the air, but it does look like it should be possible, theoretically, to do it. Um, so anyway, I'll dive straight into this here. So RandomX for CPU mining. Uh, long story short, this is actually just a screenshot of somebody mining uh, Monero, but it's going to basically be the same thing. Um, actually, I need to click into it. Ah, oh, ha, ha, that's clever. There we go. Okay. So, um, I mentioned that specifically there about ProgPow. Now, here is what we've got on the table. So, a RandomX implementation based on the Digibyte 8.19 branch, which is currently in development. More on that in a couple of days, though. So, so watch this space. Uh, what we're also wanting to do is a reset of the testnet and a clean upgrade, basically from, from scratch. Now, this might be that we do this um, semi-separate from the current testnet. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, we want a uh, confirmation of ridge test compatibility. We want compatibility with existing random X miners, such as XM rig. Now, the reason that we're wanting this is because Monero is quite different from Digibyte. It's not based on the same Bitcoin core, like, say, for example, Digibyte or Litecoin or anything else like that. Monero is completely, completely different. It uses a bunch of different RPC calls and things like that as well, so it's not immediately directly compatible. We want the idea that if you are currently mining, say for example, Monero, there is no difference for you if you want to then switch over and start mining Digibyte. Now, what this is going to mean is that there is going to be some compatibility layer between the mining pool software and the miner. So this is something that's being looked into at the moment, and it looks like we might have a solution there, which is pretty cool. So uh, we do have... a really bloody switched on developer here who's already begun looking into this for us. Hence why this is now kind of coming to the forefront. Um, actually, you know what I should do is I should really quickly bring that up because this is probably uh, Digibyte. Where's the pipeline link? Tell me where the pipeline is, buddy. Yes, here we go. Okay, pipeline. Let's bring this across. Um, I have actually got it in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so implement random X. So this is specifically some of the larger action items. And if you click on it, you can view a little bit more about it. A bounty is possible depending upon the circumstances. CPU mining, la 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 la. So long story short, this is paid off. And somebody has effectively found this. They've done some of the work. They've come to me and basically said, look, I can complete this. I don't want to do it in my spare time. I want to do it like take some time out from my job to specifically focus on RandomX for Digibyte to get it out the door for you a whole lot faster. And obviously to get paid, like let's be honest, 
everyone likes to get paid. So um, kudos to them because they've already begun the work and uh, basically having the Digibyte pipeline enable them to see that kind of visibility that it was something that we were looking into and now I'm looking to do a fundraise for it. So that's what we've got here. Uh, we're already part way there. I'm looking to raise 200,000 Digibyte, which at the time of writing is worth around about 4,500 US dollars, give or take. Now, thereafter that, we're going to need to get consensus. This is not something that I can magically manifest. It's not something that I have control over. It's not something Jared has control over. You're doing all right there, little man. You're looking... Yeah, he's cool. But it is something that we will basically put to the network, put to the miners, and this is going to be completely separate from the actual development aspect. So... Uh, where are we here? Now, I also mentioned that the, the funds will only be provided to the developer once the code is committed and we've done the testing through the testnet. So it's not like they're going to commit it, give us something that's basically broken, and then go, see you later. Um, now, I've already put the first 5,000 Digibyte in there to get us started, 2.5%. So long story short, if we can get another 40 people that are willing to donate that same amount, then we're done. We can we can basically um, give these funds to the developer so that they can take a, a bit of time off their work, off their day job, and get this uh, over the line for us. Um, so I go through a couple of questions here. What about ProgPow? Mentioned that earlier. Uh, will this be compatible with existing software? That's the goal. That's the that's the end game. There uh, is Digibyte mobile mining with RandomX possible. Potentially, it should be. It looks like we'll be able to do it. This isn't going to be covered in this first uh, bounty raise here, though. So, don't. I, I I want to say don't get your hopes up too much. But it is still something that I believe at the moment, based on both feedback from uh, a number of developers, and in fact also Christy Lee has has mentioned as well um, that she believes it would be possible. We'll see. We'll see, but don't hold your breath there because it's not something that I'm promising here today. Uh, is there code available anywhere else to help speed up the implementation process? Now, unfortunately not. Um, so from what I can gather here, um, this is going to be a bit of a first is RandomX in the Bitcoin core code base um, without requiring any like custom mining software and things like that. So we want it to basically be compatible with the existing XM rig and things like that. That's that's kind of the goal. Um, if funding goes ahead, when will the upgrade be released? Um, so hopefully pretty quickly. Like, I mean, I, I genuinely don't know how long it's going to take us to actually raise these funds. Will it take a couple of days? Will it take a week or two? Will it take a month? I really hope it's not going to take a month or two. But you, you, you understand where I'm getting at there. Um, the sooner we can raise the funds, the sooner that um, this developer is going to be able to allocate some significant portion of time to doing this. Uh, what about blockchain consensus, which I mentioned before, I don't have control over that, no individual does so, that's going to be a completely separate kettle of fish. It's still going to require that same activation of 70% over the 40,320 block period, just like AutoCrypt did. Um, but yeah, so we'll do the testing upgrade, we, we, we want to go through and get a bunch of tests done and out of the way so that as a broader community, when we approach places like mining pools and things like that, we can say, yeah, it's, are you wanting to go down somewhere? Uh, we can approach mining pools and things like that with what is effectively uh, not just a solid business case, but a solid technical case and say, look, we've done these tests and things. Um, and so I finish up, let's get to it then. At the end of the day, Digibyte is an open source protocol and can only grow as the community grows. It's going to take your support and assistance to make that happen, to upgrade your own node, to reach out to exchanges and pools when the time is right, not yet, just heads up uh, when the upgrade is ready. For that support, I am most grateful and together I believe that we can do this. So, like I mentioned, I've already gone and chipped in uh, the first 5,000 Digibyte um, and I'm hoping that's going to get things well underway. If you do have any questions, feel free to sing out in the comment section below. Now, I've tried to answer some of the ones that I feel are most likely to pop up. Uh, but if you do have more questions, then then fire away. Um, you can reach me both on the comment section below. You can reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Uh, consider leaving a like, subscribe, and hit the share button because I know a lot of other people are going to be asking about this and asking about how they can uh, both donate, but also about some of the... You, you want to go? You want to wrap up? Asking about some of the implications and things. Um, <laughs> 
So let's let's wrap that up there. Do you want to say goodbye, little buddy? Like, subscribe, hit the share button. We'll talk to you in the next video. Oh, thanks, buddy. And we'll talk to you in the next video. See you later.